be ready 5 seconds honorable chairperson i rise to make a statement to this august house on the situation in ukraine and the implications that it has had for india including for our nationals resident there despite the challenges posed by the serious ongoing conflict we have ensured that about 22500 citizens have returned home safely the house would recognize the complexity of the various endeavors that made it possible allow me to share them in some detail as honorable members may be aware a tense situation between russia and ukraine erupted into conflict on 24th february 2022 the root causes for this are complex going back to a range of issues including the security architecture political governance and interstate politics to that was added the challenges of implementing understandings reached earlier what is pertinent to note is that the hostilities placed the indian community of 20000 plus in direct danger even while we were participating in the global deliberation of this evolving situation in the un security council the pressing challenge was to safeguard our citizens and ensure that they were not in harm's way at the direction of the prime minister we launched operation ganga thereby undertaking one of the most challenging evacuation exercises during an ongoing conflict situation our community was dispersed across ukraine posing its own logistical challenges the exercise was undertaken at a time when military actions including air strikes and shelling were under way it involved movement in a war torn situation in a large country at times over 1000 kilometers and it required exiting borders clogged by an estimated 26 lakh refugees the entire exercise involved a whole of government approach with prime minister himself chairing review meetings almost on a daily basis at the mea we monitored the evacuation operations on a 24/7 basis as well we got excellent support from all ministries and organizations concerned including the ministry of civil aviation the ministry of defense the national disaster response force the indian air force and private airlines there was effective coordination with the state governments in ensuring that arrangements were made by them for return of indian nationals to their respective states once they landed in delhi and mumbai mr chairman sir let me apprise members of the steps taken in advance of the actual conflict situation as tensions increased the embassy of india in ukraine 
had started a registration drive for Indian nationals in January 2022. As a result, around 20,000 Indian nationals registered with our embassy in Kyiv. Most of the Indian nationals were students who were pursuing medical education in Ukrainian universities dispersed throughout the country. More than half of the students were in universities in eastern Ukraine that borders Russia and has been the epicenter of the conflict so far. The students hailed from 35 states and union territories of India with more than 1000 students each from states of Kerala, UP, Haryana, Tamil Nadu, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Bihar and Rajasthan. In view of the continued build-up of tensions in February, the embassy issued an advisory on 15th February 2022 advising Indian nationals in Ukraine whose stay is not essential to leave the country temporarily. It also advised Indian nationals not to travel to Ukraine or undertake non-essential movements within Ukraine. Members will appreciate that such advisories are extremely unusual and their very issue is itself a serious caution. Further advisories were also given on 20th February and 22nd February pressing students to leave Ukraine. Air bubble restrictions then in force were immediately lifted in consultation with the Ukrainian side to increase the number of flights. As a result, around 4,000 Indian nationals departed from Ukraine by direct and indirect flights till 23rd February 2022. Despite our efforts, however, a large majority of students elected to continue staying in Ukraine. We must understand their predicament in this regard. There was a natural reluctance to leave educational institutions and affect their studies. Some universities actively discouraged the departure of students and showed reluctance to offer online studies. Many of them received a conflicting advice from the universities regarding safety. The challenges of travel back may have also been a factor. In the period leading to 24th February, the political signals were confusing as well. Public urgings by authorities not to be taken in by alarmism and reports of Russian force withdrawals created a confusing picture. The net result was that about 18,000 Indian citizens were caught in the midst of conflict when it began. The ministry had started reinforcing the strength of our mission in Ukraine in anticipation of a difficult situation. Additional Russian-speaking officers were deputed to Kyiv on 22nd February to our embassy. To keep in constant touch with distressed Indian nationals in Ukraine and their families in India, a situation room was established in Delhi 
on 16th February, the embassy took parallel measures.